spot right up here. I think I can sneak down. Whew. Question is, can I sneak back up? What do you guys think? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I live once. Right? Hey everybody, Paul here from Castfly. Glad you could join me today. It's the last day of the year. So I thought I'd come out and uh, shoot some content for you guys. This is a cool little trail that I like to just come over here and it's not technical or anything like that. It's just, although it was a little muddy today kind of cool up in here water comes down off that hill kind of a waterfall right down into the creek which is super cool when it's wet <laughs> when it's raining anyway just wanted to come out and fish a little bit not a lot I'll spend about an hour down here maybe seems like yesterday we just started this channel and um, my intention was this and it still is today and that is just to encourage folks to get outdoors and our focus is mostly fly fishing of course in 23 i want to make sure that we do some more camping trips and um, extend our reach into some new waters and then also commit to doing a few more meet and greets around northwest arkansas and even in missouri possibly so be looking forward to those because at the end of the day, you know, you guys are why I'm here. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been on this journey with me. And it continues to evolve. <laughs> Every time I go out, I'm trying to, you know, record better content and make it watchable. Again, to encourage you to not just pick up a fly rod but just to get out and that's 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 what it's really about this channel is not about being professional this is just me and a camera doing my thing and it is just that it's just me i'm just doing me there's going to be people that don't agree with me and that's fine man so with that i just want to say thank you for tagging along on all of my adventures and uh that means the world to me and i enjoy making the videos <laughs> i do so i just wanted to say thank you I, re I really truly mean that so anyway that's it short and sweet i hope everybody's doing good i hope everybody had a great year but here we are so anyway you guys take care and uh i'll see you next year thanks So right up here, <laughs> I know you guys couldn't see that, but there was something massive that jumped out of the water up there. What the heck? Unless somebody's throwing rocks up there. Anyhow, <laughs> underneath that tree up there, I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but there's a tree swing. It's usually some nice smallmouth through here, but also in the summer and spring, I see a ton, a ton of uh, creek chubs. And one of my earliest videos I made was about hunting for creek chubs during the winter. We might be doing that today because 
this is prime area. Creek chubs are always biting. She can certainly drift like a jig or even little small nymphs. And those guys are active. So I'm gonna go into ninja stealth mode here and just kind of eyeball what's going on as I'm slowly walking in and then get up to this deep section here and just see what it looks like. I'm in about at a foot and a half of water right now, right below my knee really. Out there it's <laughs> ankle deep, but there is some deep holes over here. Oh dang, I just stepped in one and went to my waist. And I only have waiter pants on today, so. <laughs> Let's try not to go over the waistband. Feels super nice though. Water's cold. Guys, look at that bluff up there. That's beautiful. I just saw a nice little school of chubs, of creek chubs, darting off towards those big rocks right over there. Today I got my seven weight. I am using float line today because this is truly shallow over here. I don't think you need sink tip. This fly I'm running right now is gonna get down low enough. So I'm happy with, you know, in this foot of water here, I think I'll be fine. There's some sections where it kind of goes, drops off a little deeper, but I'm not worried about that. My intention was clearly to look for creek chubs today, so I brought the seven weight. So I could at least throw some streamers or something, see if we can get hooked up into a smallie. Somebody lost a golf ball. <laughs> I'm not retrieving that. <laughs> Okay, this is the spot. Oh, there's a bunch of golf balls over here. Somebody's been hitting them off the cliff or something. Get up right here. There's a ton of golf balls. Maybe that's what fell in the water earlier. Might get hit with a golf ball here in a minute. I'll catch that on video. That'd be awesome, right? <laughs> All right, I'm set up. This is it. This is <laughs> an indicator. A little small jig. Just simple, basic. That's it. I just want to be maybe touching bottom, pretty close to the bottom. May have to adjust a little bit. We'll see. Adjust my indicator just a little bit. Be down a little bit deeper. There we go. There we go. Fish on. <laughs> what we got here? We got <laughs> it is not a creek chub. <laughs> pretty cool he's cold as cold as ice I can tell you that air creek chub <laughs> well, we're looking for creek chubs has anybody ever said that <laughs> let's get a little farther over there in those rocks over there. I think fish are hiding in those rocks. Oh, we got some. Look at this. Slow hit. This has got to be a chub, man. Got to be a chub. What's up, chubbers? That's a creek chub. This thing is a beautiful fish that helps take care of the ecosystem, man, that's for sure. I know people don't like them. 
Uh, I've heard pe some people eat them, but I still think they're a beautiful fish. And if you target them like this, it's kind of fun, man. When everything else is kind of dormant. I mean, I know there's fish, other fish out here, but they seem to be really, typically when I fish in the winter for them, they're, they're very active. And you're not spending all day hunting for, you know, a catch. <laughs> Which is kind of nice. Especially if you're just wanting to get outdoors and catch a little something and oh there's a bunch of them right there let's see if we can go over them pull that in right there let's see if we can get one there's a bunch of them right there oh a bunch of them all right there's one right there come on let's do this Typically these creek chubs like to have a little bit of flow, but you'll see them schooled up in different areas if you're, if you're actively looking for them. Even when you're not, you'll see them out. That spot right there. It's a little hole right there. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, that was killer. Something's hitting it. Something small. There we go. Got him. That might be a smolly. That is in fact a smolly. Nope. <laughs> he sure fought like one. I can tell you that. That's that's what's cool. They they do fight really well. Eh? what to do squeak at you little red dot it's really a pretty fish it really is see you dude thank you for giving me some fun today so they're over there oh come on oh I see one that's the other thing man I love like just spotting for him, man. <laughs> one right there by that rock. Come on. Oh, dang it. Did I break off? No. Oh, there's a nice one right there. Real nice one. Let's see if I can cast this guy. Let me back up a little bit because he's super close to me. Okay, he's right, he's right where my indicator is. <gasps> he's moving. <laughs> nope. I don't know if he saw it though. I think I was behind him. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. Gosh, dude. What's up? I was paying attention to that other one when this guy came out of nowhere and hit it. Alright. Alright, calm down. There he is. Rink. Don't be alarmed when they squeal at you. That's what they do. <laughs> See you, dude. Thank you. So much fun.